Hey everybody, it's Chris from CRT Sports Cards with our 90 day recap video of our recent experiment when it came to offering plain white envelope shipping through our eBay store. For many, many years now, I've, I've been a top rated seller and part of being a TRS is the fact that you have to have all of your, your items leave with tracking and scanned by the post office within 24 hours of the customer uh, paying for the item. But with PWE, there is no such option to do tracking. So you're sort of left in a quandary of just milling an envelope and going with it. Secondarily, right now in the hobby, there's probably no bigger topic in, in, in any given day than shipping bubble mail with tracking or PWE. There are proponents on both sides of the aisle. And for the longest time, I was a person who said, don't ship PWE, only ship with tracking. It's just not worth the hassle. But that's because I hadn't actually tried to do it and tried to be successful at it. I only talked about it from sort of a, the uh, outside perspective of, well, I wanna be a top rated seller on eBay, so I have to do this to make that happen. But in November, I said, let's give it a shot. In, in November, December for me, in January for the most part, they're very slow months uh, on eBay. There's really nothing coming out. I don't really get big in a draft anymore. So I said, let's just let's just try some auctions. Let's move our listings. Let's just move 75 to 80 of my U pick listings to one dollar shipping and see what happens. Let's let's give it an honest shot in our slowest time of the year and just see what happens. So we just finished up our 90 days on the 20th of February. Uh, a month ago, I did put out an article on our website, CRTSportsCards.com titled I Was Wrong, where I talked about the progress through 60 days. So if you have not checked that out, please take a look at that. Um, I'll put a link down in the bottom for the article. But I did want to quickly discuss our 90 day results. But before we talk about the results, we had to have a goal. And so let's talk about that goal right now. So the goal was simple. In 2019, I received back from eBay for being a top rated seller about $473 um, at the end of the year. It, it's broken down here by month from January to December. And so you can see my, my, my volume of sales varies by month. You can even probably correlate that to the releases on the baseball schedule. But at the end of the year, I received back about $473. The goal was to beat that number in plain white envelope sales in 90 days. If I can beat that number when it came to the discount perspective versus the sales perspective of plain white envelopes, then losing top rated seller was the right move. If I'm not able to drive sales that are greater than my top rated seller discount, then, then it's just a fail. It's a failure for me, and it doesn't do me any good to lose my status as a top rated seller. You know, along with the the percentage back, there are there are, there. Are, placement listings advantages on eBay. But then again, in sports cards, when you're selling something where there's only 25 or 50 of, I don't know if it's really, you know, something that's that's as prevalent or, or needed as in other categories. But for the most part, there were some extra benefits in the algorithm that helps out a TRS. But from a goal perspective, when I set out for this, set out to do this in November, I had to beat the number uh, or the, the amount of discounts that I received back from eBay, which was 473. If you've seen my article, you do know that I did beat that actually in 60 days by a couple of dollars. But let's take a look at how I did over the last 30 days because that, that time period obviously included about three weeks or two and a half weeks of 2020 Top Series 1. So here are the sales results from the past 90 days when it came to Playboy Envelope. Uh, in November, which was about the last 10 or 11 days of the month, we delivered $105 uh, in sales. December was 246, January was 206, and the last 20 days of February was $180. In total, we came out to a sales total of $740, which is just absolutely smashes the top rated seller discount that I received in all of 2019 of $473. I think that the number here that, that means the most to me when it came to these this 90 day time period versus the entire year of top rated seller is I was making on average about $8.21 per day in plain white envelope sales. Look, eight bucks is not a lot, but 
it's it's something. It, it's a starting point for this experiment. And but when, then when but then when you look at the top rated seller discount that I received over a course of a year, so 365 days, that was only about a dollar twenty. So I've taken a savings of a dollar twenty by by meeting all of eBay's requirement to being TRS. I basically put them aside and said, let's just go try this. And now I'm delivering $8 in sales uh, per day on average in plain white envelope. So I think from a from the conclusion perspective, I should have done this a very, very long time ago. If you are interested in maximizing your sales, selling a couple extra cards here and there, I would recommend that you use plain white envelope for your store or in your listings. And there are a ton of buyers out there that are looking to save some money that would like to pick up one or two insert cards or base cards for their set that are just not going to pay three to four dollars to ship their card. And that's a mistake that I made for many, many years because I was a top rated seller for many years and I was very proud of that. And while that is a great accomplishment, at the end of the day, I need to be focused in on driving sales. That's what we all need to be focused in on, not what a Pixel logo looks like on our listings. So if you are debating on offering plain white envelope in your listings, I recommend it. And if you have any questions or comments, please reach out to me. Um, always comments below are great. And if you like the video, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Have a great one.